Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson dedicated to risk analysis on cultural heritage. I am Francesca Viron, project manager at Mazzini Lab Societa Benefit, and I will try to um, define with you what uh, we uh, mean when we talk about risk analysis on cultural heritage and why it is so important. Uh, and we will we'll try to have like a practical approach on the topic. Before starting with our lesson, uh, we have to start from a pretty basic concept. Um, all the project consortium um, strongly believe that cultural heritage is one of the most important vital parts of our identity and of our history and of our shared human experience. So for this reason, as it is so important, it's very uh, fundamental that we understand how to protect it and how to share it with the future generations. The problem is that cultural heritage faces numerous threats that necessitate an effective risk management, um, especially because um, the definition of cultural heritage comprehends in itself many, many different kinds of assets. And uh, uh, so for this reason, there are many, many different kinds of threats that um, can uh, apply to those particular assets. Uh, there is one big um, separation between the immovable cultural heritage, which is the one that obviously cannot be moved, like monuments, like, for example, the pyramids, like ruins, and so on and so forth. And this kind of cultural heritage is strongly um, threatened by the um, arising of climate change, uh, especially because of the natural disasters that are happening all around the world right now. On the other hand, there is the movable cultural heritage that comprehends all the different assets that we usually see inside our museums, our libraries, our archives, and basically, this kind of uh, definition comprehends in itself many, many different kind of um, typologies of assets because um, cultural heritage can be done made of many different materials. And for this reason, the assets can be vulnerable to many different kinds of risks. So in this presentation, we will try to identify which are the main sources of risk on both immovable and movable cultural heritage. Risk analysis is just one phase of the risk management cycle. Um, for simplicity, in this presentation, we will try to simplify the risk management cycle and we take into consideration only three activities that are part of the cycle uh, and that define and rotate around the risk analysis phase which are the identifying, assessing, and mitigating risks to try to mitigate their impact, to minimize their impact on cultural heritage. So these are the main activities that this presentation will cover. The uh, primary goals of risk management are primarily three. First of all, the preservation of a precious cultural heritage, as we have seen in the first slide. Then the prevention of risks. Um, when we talk about risk, we talk about the product between, we will see um, in, the, in the next slide, the product between the probability uh, of uh, um, threat and the impact that that threat could potentially have on the assets. And so when we talk about prevention of risk, we are talking about acting uh, towards one of the, these two um, variables. So uh, when we talk about prevention, um, we are referring to the activities that are put in place towards the reduction of the probability of a, um, of a threat or the reduction of the um, possible impact that that threat could have on a cultural heritage asset. And also there is the preparedness. Preparedness refers to all of the activities that are put in place to give the personnel uh, the uh, tools to be ready and to uh, know how to respond to an emergency. Um, and so um, we have seen in other lessons the importance of the priority lists and of the emergency plans for cultural heritage institutions. 
When we talk about this topic, there is a very important uh, sentence to keep in mind, which is that we cannot manage what we don't know. So for this reason, it's super important that before starting with our risk management process, we have to understand which are the assets that we want to preserve and we want to protect and why we are doing this uh, activity. So once we have like identified the overall objective of our uh, activity, we can start with the identification of risks. In fact, the first phase of risk analysis is identifying the risk, identifying the threats um, based on the vulnerabilities of the assets themselves that can come from the materials um, from which they are done, they are made of and then can also come from the outside of the building or from the building itself. For this presentation, uh, we have decided to use this publication as a reference. Uh, this publication is called A Guide to Risk Management of Cultural Heritage, and it was published by the ICROM in 2016. And even if it was published in 2016, so some years ago, it is still one of the most up-to-date publication on the topic um, so we really suggest you to read it um, in this publication one of the most important topic that is tackled inside this publication is um, that the icrom try to identify the 10 uh, most common agents of deterioration that can threaten cultural heritage. So we will use this to talk about the different agents of um, deterioration that can uh, threaten cultural heritage. In this slide, you can see a graph with the 10 most common uh, agent, agents of deterioration that have been identified by the ICROM in this specific publication. And we will see them in detail in the next few slides.